So what's up you guys? Welcome back to my channel. So I know I've been going for like two months. Like since like my last tutorial I think was like the Valentine's Day tutorial. But um, that's because like I've been recording but I didn't record any tutorial that one I didn't get interrupted in or two that I liked. So I'm hoping that this tutorial comes out good I can come out with more videos for you guys. Um, basically I did my, um, basically this video is my everyday spring makeup look which is basically my everyday makeup look like I like I'm very basic with my makeup because I feel like less is more especially with the look I'm going for so um just said to know where my hair is from this hair is from um um global Tresses hair I will leave the link to the hair down below I also have a review on this hair I, I bought this hair about like three months ago and literally only wore it for like a week so I'm gonna start wearing it because I need my money to wear it, you know, because this hair wasn't, it wasn't the most expensive, but it wasn't cheap either. It was like, I don't remember the price, but yeah, I'm gonna leave the link to Glam Angel's hair down below because this is some amazing hair. Like this is the best blonde 613 hair I ever had. Only critique I can make about this is that I don't like the closure, but the closure is not from, um, Global Treasure's hair, it's from, um, so yeah, if you're interested in getting this look, just keep on watching. Alright, so like the first thing I'm going to do is go in with my Nivea Post Shade Palm. And I'm using it as a primer. And as you guys know, it's been put on the map by Nikki Vittorio. So shout out to Nikki for the PNG. And then I'm going to go in with my, follow that up with my... Um, Urban Decay Professional um, Primer and I'm just going to use that all over my face because I need to be poreless. So I'm doing my foundation routine a little bit different. This is my spring routine. I'm going in with my concealer extra, the extra extra like concealer first. This is, this is the Kat Von D concealer in the shade medium 24. This is really light on me and trust me guys I know it's light I'm gonna blend it out just trust me you want this your concealer this is the only time I will use a concealer this light in this much on purpose so I'm just gonna put that in all the high points and all the places I want my face to stand out so I'm putting it under my eyes of course my a little bit on my forehead and a little bit on my chin because I like those places in my face but I have a really big forehead and a and a butt chin like I have a well not a butt chin but I have a dimple in my chin so I want them to be highlighted but I don't want because those are the places you highlight but I don't want them to be like noticeable um then now I want to go in with my contour the contour I use is um the LA Girl Pro Concealer in the shade Beautiful Bronze. I'm looking, you guys, could you leave me recommendations for a good contour product down below? Because I need something that's more, like, less red. Because this is really red. It's really dark compared to me. Like, the lighting is making, it was washing me out and washing the product out. But this, um, this, the Beautiful Bronze is really dark on me. But it's too red. And, um, I just need something that's not red, you know what I mean? I'm gonna try the, um, the Anastasia Beverly Hills Contour Kit and see if that works for me. But yeah, I'm just gonna put that on all the places where I contour, which is down the sides of my nose, a lot on my forehead, and obviously my cheekbones. And then, just blend it out, and then we on to foundation. The foundation I'm using is the Becca Complexion, Ultimate Coverage Complexion Cream. And basically, I'm just going to stipple that over the highlight, a light layer over the highlight and contour. And what that is going to do is, um, because, like, obviously, like, the foundation going over a lighter surface is, is going to lighten up the foundation. And then the foundation going over the darker surfaces is going to darken up the foundation. So what it's going to do is going to leave a, slimmel, a seamless transition and a seamless blend of the colors on your face and I'm doing and I like this method because it looks like a no makeup makeup look even though it's like a, it's like a glam no makeup makeup look so 
only thing I'm going to do is stipple that all over my face. And then um, just make sure it's blended. So what you want to do is honestly, you guys, take your time blending. Like take all your time blending. And then once you finally got it blending, blended, <laughs> um, you're just going to go in with your air spun or any powder, your setting powder. And I'm, you want to um, set under your eyes right away so um, it's not creased up under there later. So I'm using the air spun powder and I'm packing that on. And um, in all the places where I highlight it. And I'm also going to reverse contour with it. So, um, under my eyes, down to the underside of my jaw, I guess. Um, my forehead and my nose. And my chin. <laughs> see like I'm packing it on because I want because I get oily really fast and and I like to use a lot of highlighters I need my face to be like on point like it there should be no oil spills and um I skipped my eyeshadow because I think I've done this look so um um you could click the card on the right hand side and it will lead you to that video so basically, I'm dusting off the banana powder, not the banana, the air spawn powder with banana powder because the banana powder is close to my skin tone. So I'm just gonna, dust, I'm using the banana powder to dust off the air spawn powder. And trust me, guys, I know it looks a little bit too light. I'm gonna tone it down later um, towards the end of this video. Now I'm going to contour my face with my Avon Everlasting Foundation Powder. And I don't know the shade off the top of my head. But just, it's not, the shade doesn't matter. It's just, I just use it to contour. That's what I just use to contour. If, um, if you do decide to pick this up, just go with whatever shade is darker than you. And yeah, I'm just going to go to and contour my cheekbones, my big ass forehead. And I'm doing something that I never do. I'm contouring my jawline because um, I was feeling fat that day. So this, this, I know that's hard for me to say, but I was really feeling fat that day. So I'm going to go in and contour my jawline and down the sides of my nose, you know come through nose like i'm giving me a nose job right now like a straighter nose I, like my contour when i contour my nose i don't make it my nose thinner like that's not my object i'm just making it more defined because i read like my nose is like really that size it's just um i'm defining my bridge just a little bit more and then i'm just blending out the harsh lines of my beauty blender now on to my lips. Okay, so what I usually use is the MAC lip pencil in the shade Chestnut. But I kind of left it in New York. I filmed this video right after I got back from New York. So I kind of left it there. So I need to go pick up a new one like desperately. So I'm using any old brown one. But if you really want the look that I use every single day for spring, I use MAC Chestnut. And then on top of that, I'm just going to follow through with the, the Too Faced um, Melted Liquid Lipstick in the shade Nude. This is the lightest shade and honestly, it's the most prettiest nude color I have ever had, ever. So, <coughs> yeah. So, <coughs> my God. I'm sorry about my voice right now. I'm actually really, really sick. But, you know... I had to push out a video for you guys because it's been forever. So now I'm just going on top of my NYX Butter Gloss. And this is the shade. Um, I forgot, but honestly, you could use any shade. Like, sometimes I use Terramis. Not Terramis. Like, any nude sh gloss you could put on top. Because um, the gloss I use, I just use it to um, help blend the liquid lipstick into the lip liner. And plus, I like a glossy lip, but I use any pink nude gloss on the on my lip. So now I'm going in with my Mag Mineralized Skin Finish in the shade Dark Tan, and I'm buffing that 
all in, like all into my skin, like everywhere where I put my highlight, my contour, everywhere. Just so it could, like one, darken up my highlight into. Um, actually, right now I'm putting on blush, so I don't know what I'm talking about. But I'm putting on blush, and I use any old blush, and I don't remember which one I used, but. Um, after that, I went in with my Mac Mineralize Skin Finish and put that all over my face to darken everything up. Now, I'm going with my Becca um, Highlighter and Opal, which is the highlight god. Like, my face looks so amazing with the shade Opal. I used to use Shampoo Pop, but Shampoo Pop is too yellow and too gold. And then, once you're all done with that, you just spritz, you drench. Your face, not six. You drench your face and that six plus because you use so much powder. And trust me, if you don't use a lot, you're going to be picky. So I drench my face in that six plus. And as you can see, you cannot get it out. And then, um, what I'm going to do now is just pop on my lashes. And then I'm done. Like, this is the finished look. I hope you guys loved it. So, I hope you guys really enjoyed this tutorial. I had so much fun making it because, you know, this is, like, my favorite makeup, go-to makeup look ever. Like, I think I could, like, this could be, like, summer, winter, spring. Like, this is, like, all season, but um, it's mainly spring because it's really light and, you know, spring is about, like, light colors and, you know, happy time and all that stuff. So, yeah, I really hope you guys enjoyed this look. If you did, give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to follow me on all social media, which is just Instagram. And I'll leave my Snapchat down below as well. And, um, yeah, um, what else? Oh, that's, I think that's about it. I'll see you guys on my next video. Bye, guys. <laughs>